Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today I've got something a little different, it's a project we'll be returning to over the course of the coming year. If you're in our Discord, you likely know Nocturnal Moon, my real life fiance and keeper of the Tarot Corner. She came up with a pretty good idea recently, and that was a build for each traditional star sign. Now, I don't know a ton about star signs, but I quite like the idea, so here we are. Seeing as we're starting off in November, we're going to be starting off with Scorpio, the star sign for October 23rd to November 21st. Also, I'm going to be getting all my information from horoscope.com as it seems like a pretty reliable resource. Scorpio is a water sign and they are passionate, stubborn, resourceful and brave. They're strongly linked to romance and uh, things on the spicier side, so with that in mind, today we've got a Turanian bathhouse and brothel tying together the personality traits with the water nature of the sign. The requirements are on screen now, feel free to screenshot them if you need to. So without further ado, let's get started. I began with the base plate, made of ceilings and held up by pillars with a vented floor to create a visual connection with the lake. On the base plate I used terrainian walls to close off the gaps in the ceilings below and merge the base into the ground. I also pillar tricked the corners, and this part is vital for the first floor layout. I placed pyramid pieces on the bottom tile to give it a bit more visual reinforcement in the deeper water. I also added pyramid ramps around the extended segments to give the build a sort of footer and to give it a better visual grounding. From there I began on the walls. This floor is going to be three tiles high. The extensions will have Terranian tent pieces on the first and second tile, with the rest being made of regular Terranian. I followed the layout from the blueprint earlier, adding a double door segment at the front and a staircase segment at the back. I also used the real windows trick to add a few larger windows on the second tile towards the front corners. I merged the tents into the wall on the second tile with some roofing and built out the staircase segment. Now we move up to the first floor. Build a strip of ceilings atop the tricked pillars. Connect a staircase from the central tricked ceiling down to the centre of the two tiles below and then add two staircases below that. This creates a compact staircase that is spaced just right to allow you to squeeze past and use it efficiently. Build the rest of the tricked ceilings out and fill the walls beneath. You'll want to arch the entrances to the extensions on the ground floor, so it may be easier to do this ahead of time on the second tile so you don't have to go back on yourself. Atop the first tile of each extension I included a small roof using wall caps and rooftop intersections. I replicated that design over the front door, though without the tent segments of course. I next built a narrow bridge from the shore to the base. You can do whatever you like with this design really, I just did a very basic single tile bridge supported underneath by columns with inverted sloping sides to merge into the top side and pyramid footers on the bottom. I 
I added arches over each support section and Terranian rooftop pieces atop those, though in retrospect you could omit the roof segments entirely to have a more impressive view on your approach to the bathhouse. Below the tricked ceilings I placed Terranian arches to add a bit of shape. You will have to leave a gap at the back as they just won't fit properly, but the rest is fine and it helps greatly with the aesthetics. Back to the first floor, this is going to be the bar. I closed off the ceilings and ran the corner pillars up through the floor. I added a doorway to the front balcony and enclosed the rest of the floor with two tile walls. Merging the staircase into the first floor is kind of tough. You have to kind of juggle around the walls though because the snap points are so strange here, finding a solution isn't too hard, you just have to be prepared for that solution to be fairly unconventional. Fortunately snapping a roof onto here was much easier than expected. Atop the balcony walls, I used arched and regular ceilings to give the balcony covers a bit of shape. This works really well for improving the aesthetics of this section without relying on the usual awning pieces, which I didn't think would fit all too well. Inside the first floor, I added a staircase up to the second floor, which I created by covering the ceilings and running a central tile up for stability. On the second floor, the brothel area, I added a ring of tent walls followed by a second ring of regular terranian walls. I then used regular terranium roof pieces to cover the tent walls on the outside, leaving triangular accents that I will later fill with sloping sides. I then built three small rounded rooms by building out with a straight wall on either side and using a rounded wall to connect them, which is a much more elegant solution than just three square boxes. I ran another pillar up the centre and built ceilings above. Here I used the pillar trick again to build an off-grid 4x4 underneath which I placed terranian roof pieces. I then hung reversed walls from below the ceilings to merge that gap together. I built an internal 2x2 of ceilings and bought them up two tiles from the previous level. I built some more roofs to cover that gap with triangular accents. I then arched the underneath of the remaining tile, placed fences in the gaps and finally added the large domed roof pieces. They're still a bit fiddly but they do behave themselves eventually. On the bottom of the build, I added some small buttresses on the corners. 
In the furnishing phase, I connected these buttresses together with ceilings and extended the rooftops I'll put on them, but for now, I built them two tiles high and capped them off with wall caps and rooftop pieces. Lastly, inside the bath on the ground floor, I added stage pieces to either side to have a sort of pseudo seating area inside the bath itself. Finally, when the shed of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. I've lit the build and decorated the exterior with scorpion banners and made those aforementioned adjustments to the buttresses on the bottom side. I also added some wall caps on the main roof over the balcony for a bit of decoration. On the ground floor is, of course, the bathhouse. The large central bath is flanked by walkways and interior seating. I added a couple of small potted trees, alongside more scorpion banners and a cosy seating area tucked inside the extension segments. I also used these small ketone footrests as tables within the bath itself, and I lit the bathhouse with hanging terranium braziers. Heading upstairs, we reached the bar. This is a fairly cosy room with a decent amount of seating. The bar is relatively small and carries a few beverages. It's fairly quiet at the moment, a few patrons, but with a full house this bar would undoubtedly be a fairly tight squeeze, though a charming one at that. I made a small adjustment to the staircase here. Rather than having it turn at a right angle, I had it come out and then double back on itself as I felt it fit the room better. There's also balcony access where I've included some seating so patrons can enjoy the view across the lake and the surrounding environment. Upstairs are the bed chambers where patrons may indulge in some more salacious endeavours. There's a small private seating area and each room is themed. The first is based on luxury, with a heavy focus on fabrics and red as the main colour scheme. The second is themed in the Ketan style, with gentle lighting and typical Ketan iconography. The third is based on the Nordheimers, taking a simple yet rugged approach to that style. And there we have it, the Scorpio bathhouse. For the first build in this star sign series, I think it's not too bad. I was a bit disappointed that the Scorpion clan banners are basically the only way to actually represent the Scorpio sign in-game, aside from the taxidermied scorpions that is, but I think it got the message across pretty well. Next month we'll be back with Sagittarius, a fire sign that I think will be pretty interesting to try and translate into a build. Thank you for watching and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Of course a big thank you also goes to Nocturnal Moon for suggesting this idea in the first place. If you are of the spiritual persuasion, do join the discord through the link in the description, I know Moon would love to have you join her spiritual sect, and let me know if you have some ideas in mind for Sagittarius next month. Again thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.